Hey there YouTube, it's Tickle My Tinkle and this is episode 3 of All The Guns and we're looking at the AK-12. Um, you should, this is my loadout, you should probably give it a try if you'd like. You might have a different loadout and uh, we've got a little bit to talk about this gun for today. It's quite interesting and um, I've been looking at all the patches that ghosts have made in the past and up to now of uh, what they've gone like nerfing guns and fixing problems and I was quite shocked when I looked at the AK-12 supposedly they've only touched it once and that's to reduce the uh, recoil to put onto it and um, I call a bluff on that I think they've uh, nerfed power buffed the power to it I think it's I don't know it, it's it's not as good um, some people argue with me you know it, it does kill quite instantly I just only problem I have with it is the um, rate of fire I think if you're going up against like a Remington or something like that, you're gonna you're gonna lose. Or there's two people shooting it, you're gonna lose because the rate of fire is so slow on this gun that um, you, you haven't really got much of a chance on a one v one if you're close up and the other person's got as good accuracy as you have. If you have got good accuracy, um, but this is the gun that everybody used at the beginning. Everybody bugged this gun, and I, I love this gun as well. Um, I think nearly everyone used it until they started uh, messing around with the guns again and started pulling them up and then everyone was starting to um, experiment with different guns you know Bison comes in, Remington comes in, Mtar and stuff and slowly the, M um, the AK-12 started going out and uh, starting to come back in you know a few people use it but it, it's if it comes to it I, I like a fast rate of fired gun so this is probably why I don't use this gun anymore um, I like my fast rate guns but if you're a bit of a slower player you know like to s sit back and just like crawl around a bit and play a bit slower than maybe I do because I like to rush in a bit then this is a good gun for you um, because you won't probably won't need fast rate guns because it'll just cause a lot of hassle but um, yeah this is the AK-12 <laughs> and I, I, I had a lot of kills off this this was my favourite gun on where it comes up on your little thing this used to be my favorite gun for months on end um i think that was broke for a short while as well because um i used the mtor for months and months and i got so many kills with mtor and it still wasn't changing and then they brought out a fix pack and then it changed to me mtor and then it actually it changed to a a combat knife for some reason when i hardly even use my combat knife um and it was a combat knife for a while and then it went to uh that mtor after that and i was quite happy I'm just waiting for it to change to the Vector now because I've got a lot of kills with Vector but I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon. I've got a lot of kills with me on Tar. Um, but yeah, this this is a nice gun. I don't know whether I'd class it as a, an assault rifle or not. I mean, it, it does get some good far out kills but with, with distance, I think it's quite a smaller gun. And um, it's, it's harder to get distant shots on it if you ride distance, I mean with a Remington you can kill someone from other end of the map with this you've got to be able to see them to kill them from other end of the map which I, I struggle with and I don't like a red dot, when I put a red dot on it <coughs> it gets really bouncy and um, unstable for me so I can't use a red dot but all in all uh, if you if you put muzzle brake on it, I mean people use use red dots, I, I like muzzle brake you know added power, always use grip because grip's just that extra bit of uh, accuracy that you need you know and it, it makes sure that you can pull that gun round nice and fluent and uh, you can get them kills in and on this map I don't have to say I, I do I think this map's alright I mean Ghosts have made some big mistakes with the maps but this map's alright and um, it's a team death match which is all in all good I mean I don't like the search and destroy in here I don't like the, the points of the search and uh, bombs but for things like search and kill, uh, team deathmatch and kill confirmed, it's not bad. And the domination's not so bad on this either. It's um, quite nicely spread. It's a big map, but we expect big maps out of Ghosts because it's completely different to the, any other COD maps, except for maybe a couple of maps. They always brought one big map out on nearly every game, or this map. This time they bought one small map out, and rest of them were massive. Um, 
and that's what's deterred a lot of people away from Call of Duty ghosts. They don't like the bigger maps, you know, they don't like the spawn points, which they are slowly getting right, but I still see a lot of faults in the spawn points, spawn points as well. Um, this one's not so bad for spawn points, it's things like freight and things like that where you, you can easily get spawn trapped. Um, I would have thought that ghosts would have sorted the spawn traps out by now, but they haven't, so hopefully they either sort it out or the next Call of Duty they might they might work on it a bit more. You know like there's three teams in it now, they might be a bit of working throughout the game. Um I don't know what to think of this new Call of Duty. I mean it's it's like everyone was saying about Black Ops that not everyone liked the trailer at first but when it came out and they'd sort of the multiplayer of that and you, you couldn't have all these futuristic things that were gonna ruin the game and then uh, it wasn't so bad so I'm hoping that Sledgehammer do the same with uh, the advanced warfare, you don't get these grenades. I don't know if you've any of you have watched the trailers, but these grenades when you throw them, they like float round and then they like target find. Like, like, um, when you got a kill streak with your on Black Ops 2 when you had the little plane and you used to throw the little plane and it used to fly that map and track onto somebody and shoot. I hope they don't have them as grenades because uh, it's just little things like that that can absolutely ruin a game for somebody. And, um, I hope some good things. I mean, uh, we've only got to wait. After this Call of Duty, we've only got to wait a year, and then we've got Treyarch again, and let's get it right, everyone pretty much loves Treyarch. I used to be an Infantry Ward fan, and um, until they bought out Modern Warfare 3, which I'm not a big fan on, and then uh, I, I kind of switched to Treyarch, and uh, I expect a good, a good game out of them. I don't know what they're going to bring out, maybe a Black Ops 3 or something like that, but I expect a good game out of them, maybe League Play Black back. Um, because this clan war stuff, I mean, it's all right, but it, there's nothing to it. You don't get. It's not like league play where you got a ranking. You should have bought a, like a ranking out for your clan wars, and they never really did that for this game, um, which I was quite disappointed with because um, that would have shot off a bit. I think you know if you made it a league thing, if you got like a little team of four and your clan, and you could play your clan wars, and then. Uh, if you or your clan could play this clan wars and maybe got a league thing out of it. I mean, I know they bought the um, the wars out, but I, I don't think much to clan wars. I really don't. Um, but this is all for this video. I hope you've enjoyed and uh, bye.